as you guys have seen we have been posted in a while I mean, it's been really a rough couple of days for me and dominic dominic are you okay guys a lot of people ask where we've been honestly i've just been in this bed for the past two days yeah i've never experienced something like that i had um luckily i just want to thank you before i tell them Today's the first day I actually feel like a lot, lot better mm -hmm. where I'm actually able to eat. Get out of bed. The first day was the worst mm -hmm. where I had cramps in my stomach. I had never experienced cramps like that. Like cramps, weakness, like the massive things was massive migraine, fever, extremely painful cramps, extreme, extreme diarrhea. Not to go TMI, but extreme Mates. diarrhea. Guys, I had to, the, the nurse, she gave me a, a pill to basically make me constipated. Yeah. Like I had to basically take a pill to completely stop because I was getting too dehydrated. When I lost seven pounds in one, two days, like I was extremely dehydrated. Mm -hmm. So I had to take that pill. He couldn't and then walk you guys. At night, I was too much pain. My whole body was in pain. So I took Tylenol just to like pass out. Mm -hmm. And then when I had a good night's sleep, he had just, a high fever. I had a fever. Naka was nice. Made me like this little ice pack, yeah, which actually like really, this? really helped. There's but yeah, ice in you. It was, it was like salmonella or food poisoning, or it was definitely some type of poison, something I ate. And it's crazy because you always have in the back of your head, like, oh, like some, sometimes food can make my stomach upset. Or like, you know, my body's not going to agree with the food. Mm -hmm. But I would never thought in a hundred years that it could make me feel I've never seen that. I, I did. Like, uh, you guys know me. I'm not someone who complains. I'm not someone who, mm -hmm. like, I get stuff done, whatever the, however I feel. But this is the first time where, like, it took me out. Like, mm -hmm. I was literally in bed. And when I would stand up, I would almost pass out. I couldn't drink because I would have diarrhea that was, like, water. Mm -hmm. Literally nonstop. Like, TMI, but me. Yeah, like, 15, like, before 12 o'clock, like, 15 times. And, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but yeah, yeah, it was terrible. Then like muscle cramping and the cramps were the worst. I never experienced cramps like that in my stomach. Like cramps were like, I had to go in the fetal position and just hold my stomach because it was hurting so much. Like, I don't know what that was guys, but yes, like two days ago was the worst. Yesterday was like 50% better. Now it's like another 20% better. So now is the first day where I've been eating today. And that's why we're able to do the video because like the other times I, I couldn't even talk. Like I was not even talking. I'm just in bed doing mm -hmm. absolutely nothing. And like when I go to the bathroom, right after the bathroom, I don't know what it was, but it would like suck my energy from me where like every single time after the bathroom, I would literally almost pass out. Like I would mm -hmm. just go on my knees and like just hold the toilet like this and like almost like I had no energy. It was like black. I was crazy, man. I never experienced I don't know like what that. that was. Like, but I'm so thankful that Naka took care of me. We had a nurse that came. Luckily, like she came for Naka's uh, blood work, mm -hmm. and she was just here when when I was feeling like that. So she kind of helped, gave a little bit of medicine. There was nothing that helped. I thought that my body was cleansing itself, but it wasn't stopping. So like, obviously, when you go to the bathroom, you get even more dehydrated mm -hmm. and more and more. You can even hear my voice. Like I'm, I'm still pasty. Like I lost seven pounds. I lost seven pounds in two days, which is like very abnormal for me too. But um, yeah, so. I see the muscle definition. <laughs> <laughs> For me not to be like get out and, and do nothing, like bro, it took me out. Yeah. And today means I'm tired. I haven't been feeling well. I got sick today. The last um two days, sesame's been really good. I was able to like make food for Dominic that I ended up eating myself. And um just like taking care of him but yeah. yeah I was feeling good and then today he's feeling better and sesame was quiet like he wasn't giving me any issues and then today he saw that his dad was feeling better so he's like all right time to make you suffer yeah Naka took care of me like yeah. I I wouldn't have, I don't know what I would have done without you oh, of course yeah and it was crazy too because it's my body I don't really throw up right it takes so much for me to throw up which I think it's actually bad because of I wish I would have threw up the food and stuff yeah. like that, right? So it's like, it was very weird because I go to the bathroom and stuff was coming out, but I haven't eaten. Like I I, I didn't eat weird. for, I think 18 hours straight, like like mm -hmm. a full day. I didn't eat absolutely nothing. Like just a little Except bit, a little water bit of water. And lemon. Yeah. And like stuff was still coming out of me. I was like, yo, like, like what was going on? You know? And like, I go, to, you know, when you, when you're about to throw up and you have like the liquid coming out of your mouth and your body temperature goes higher and all these things, I was experiencing that, but then I wasn't throwing up. So yeah, it was, it was terrible. And then yeah, some fever, the cramping, massive migraine. His whole body was warm, guys. Yo. Like, 
warm to the touch. I never, like, it was hot. Yeah, oh it was my hot God. and I, I was shivering. Yeah. But I had migraines too, like, massive headaches. My, migraine, like, not even a headache, like a migraine. So all of this from the food poison, I, I never thought I could experience that. When I was saying in, and in the past- And from chicken, guys. I yeah. told him we need to stop eating chicken. Chicken is We need is to be plant-based now. Yeah, or like really spend the extra money to get organic, well-quality chicken, which we ordered today. Yeah, we. So, our neighbor um, recommended us. He only eats like organic meat yeah. from this place and we placed an order today. So we're, we're gonna, gonna see. We're gonna see. Yeah, we and- can't put a price on um, Someone in our community mentioned that maybe it's because it's summertime here, right? So it's not proper. The, the meat at restaurants is not properly stored and it's hot, it's right? Too hot. So yeah. the salmonella and all these bacteria, they go on the food because of the heat. Mm. Or like sometimes it is stored properly, but it's so hot here in PV mm. that the bacteria if, goes on it. If the meat stays out long, yeah. It, like it goes bad twice as fast, yeah. right? But maybe sometimes restaurants like they they don't want to throw out stuff, so like maybe they leave it out. Yeah. And like not only that, but then if you order on Uber Eats, it takes longer to get to your house, mm -hmm. right? It takes like an hour to get to our house, right? So I never thought like in the past when we get like a little bit of food poisoning, I never thought it could be this. Usually bad. it's me that gets really yeah. sick. Yeah. Or like if I get it, it just kind of upsets little cramps. my stomach. Yeah. But not now I feel like I'm scarred for life. Like now like We're never... this. I thought that like worst case, right? If I were to eat it, it would just upset my stomach. Like before, like, yeah. You know how it usually does and then you get over it. Yeah, right? he's gotten chicken from the same meal he's gotten it before and like it was just little cramps, right? So it was just like, oh, it's not going to be that bad, but. Yeah, it's definitely something added to the list of experiences to learn from. Yeah, salmonella is uh, not, it's not a joke, it, you it guys. Ain't no joke, it feels so good though, like today, <laughs> You see, it's, it's crazy, like, sometimes how you take your health for granted, but, like, the days that you don't feel good, mm -hmm. you're just, like, you're just trying to get through it. Yeah, it it's, makes... it's always, like, remembering. And we look rough, but it's yeah. been a rough, <laughs> rough time, you guys. You never take your health for granted. Like, if you feel good right now, you're watching this video. You guys are so lucky. Take a step back and just, like, be thankful. Yeah. Enjoy and, your uh, health, guys. It's crazy that even if I'm 80% right now, it feels like I'm 150%. Mm -hmm. Like, right now, I feel like I'm on top of the world, but you can see i'm still not the best but you're amazing i'm going to the gym tomorrow guys yeah <laughs> the grind don't stop anyways guys we just wanted to update you guys on that hopefully the next video is more positive and we're gonna do more things but we wanted to keep you guys updated on our current situation um sesame is amazing my blood work was really good mm -hmm. my iron level are slightly lower but it's just because i'm pregnant so just gonna up my veggies and everything came great no preeclampsia no diabetes nothing like it was amazing because well, it was like a bittersweet because we received amazing news from naka about yeah. the blood work but then like I was in the gutter. So. so he couldn't celebrate. I celebrated yeah. by myself, mate. So yeah, I'm very happy that Sesame is growing well. My body is, you know, helping Sesame grow to the best of his ability, mate. He was very quiet. He knew that. Yeah, he knew. It was so that sweet. Was like, usually Sesame best. does cartwheels and punches me and kicks me. But he was so quiet, so good. I didn't get sick. I was running in and out the bank, like going to get groceries for Dominic. Yeah. And Sesame was cooperating. We had energy. Like, yeah. it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, thanks for watching. Smash yeah. like button, make me feel better. <laughs> in your prayers. Yeah, guys. Toodaloo. And, uh, thanks for being here, guys, and supporting us. Mm -hmm. we'll guys, talk to you soon. Let thank us... you for all the messages. Yeah, too. you guys are amazing. Dom doesn't Dominic's hair look nice? Looks beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Bye. Toodaloo. Mm -hmm.